Good morning guys, it's June 20th. It is, I think like 10.30 in the morning. No, it's 11 o'clock. Wow, time is escaping me. Um, I just got done with the chiropractor. I was there for an hour. Um, went through with like a little different therapies and um, just did some stuff to help like loosen my joints and get um, fluids in my disc and everything like that. So then whenever she popped me and twisted me and did all this stuff, like everything just cracked. My body responded really well. So I feel like really loose and just really nice right now. Um, my lower back is starting to get a little sore, just typical. I haven't got adjusted in about like three weeks and stuff. So I'm, I'm actually gonna be filming meal prep. I have so many people that ask, get some more light in here. I have so many people that ask for um, advice and meal prep and what I should eat. Well, not me, but like you guys should eat. And it's really about just knowing what how your body responds and what you enjoy eating, but also keeping it simple and not overcomplicating it because that's where calories start adding up and it's hard to macro count and it's just like hard to really track what you're consuming. So that's why I keep all my meals simple. I do a lot of the same meals, but I will change up with seasonings like I've said before. So I'm gonna walk you through a little bit. I'm not gonna film everything, but I wanna walk you through why and how meal prep can be super simple and um, just kind of how I do it. So I'm gonna start off with letting you guys see that um, for my first meals I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my tilapia first. Um, I need to get my other pan out, but typically, well, let me start over. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna preheat the oven, so it's preheating now at 400 degrees, and I bought these sweet potatoes because I got HEB curbside, so that they pretty much like selected things for me. And a lot of sweet potatoes are ugly and like hard, hard to pick out. So I like these because they stay really nice and pretty, and they're pretty balanced as, as far as like size in here. So I'm gonna put these four potatoes on a pan with foil, and in about a minute and 40 seconds, I will put it in the oven at uh, one hour. And then that's why I'm starting off with the potatoes because it does take longer, and I like to just not even worry about cooking this. That way I can focus on the meats and get that cooking, taking up the space on the stove. <clears throat> so this is gonna go in the oven for an hour, and then when it's done, after that hour, I'm gonna take the oven off and leave it in there for like another 30 minutes. And so that will help, kind of help separate the um, skin from the potato. But literally like, I'm taking this out of the container, the package. I am not cleaning it, I'm not adding water to it, I'm not poking holes. Like that's the problem is a lot of people start poking holes and then it starts like seeping through and sometimes they kind of explode and they make a mess and they don't cook right. Like you wanna keep the potato sealed in its skin, don't do anything to it, literally just stick it in the oven just like this. Okay, my next thing is my tilapia. I just really enjoy tilapia as far as fish. People kinda of give tilapia a crap name and whatever. I honestly don't care during this prep. It's a higher quality that I've noticed out of some other ones I've seen farm raised, so I don't like fishiness and these don't have any fish taste to it. So each package has four tenderloins. And why I like seafood is um, this is, they're higher in um, protein content. So as you can see, one filet, well, it's almost one filet. Uh, there's about three and a half servings, four ounces. I honestly just stick one in a pack or a, a meal prep container. So I make four servings out of this. But four ounces is 90 calories, one fat, zero carbs, and 21 grams of protein. So when I put this uh, with one, since it's three and a half servings and there's four in here, I just do one each and it ends up being about 18 grams per uh, tilapia in the container. But then once I add veggies and other things, it kind of adds up to like 20, 21 or whatever. But I like this brand because there's no additives, no preservatives, mercury free, gluten free. Obviously it's gluten free, but um, I just, yeah, it's a good flavor and I do two at one time. So I, there's four in each, so that's eight containers. So that makes it super quick and easy. What I do is I place them all on here and season it, and then I put four in this one, four in this one, and I really enjoy using um, this avocado oil. So this is all zero calories, nothing to it. That's a good way to not add up fat calories unless you're trying to get more fats in, but uh, coconut oil and actual av avocado oil or olive oil adds up in fat. So I use these zero sprays, and this spray container is um, a lot better than the other ones that are like an aerosol. So it's gonna be a little healthier and doesn't have extra chemicals in it to create that aerosol spray. So I'm going to get these out and I'll show you because they're all individually wrapped. So I have to like cut every single one out, lay it on here, and then season it. 
actually going to thaw it out a little bit more once I took it out of the package. They were still a little bit frozen. I put them in the fridge the night before, but um, they just need to thaw out just a little bit more. And usually I do this for about three to five minutes, just depending on how thawed they, thawed out they are. So as you can see, they're all individually packaged, and I'll end up taking them out of the package and sticking it on this um, brain can't work cutting board. And then I'll get a napkin and just get any excess water off just so they're dry. And then this is the seasoning that I like to use. So I'll coat the, um, wow, still can't talk. So I'll coat the cutting board a little bit with this and I'll place the tilapia on it and then just literally douse the shit out of the tilapia. And I don't really care about the sodium and all that in here, but I'll use like a fourth, I'm trying to find. So like I use up all that space for the last time. So this will last me about four times, maybe five times. Ooh, there we go. And then um, then I'll heat this up. So I'm gonna wait till the tilapia thaws out. So the other meal prep I'm going to do is um, ground turkey. So I'm going to cook two of these, but I have to wait till the tilapia is done. But what I'm gonna do is do the um, ground turkey with rice. So as the tilapia is thawing out, I'm going to weigh out the rice and start getting that ready so I can boil it and cook it because it doesn't matter how long it takes, it'll be, or it takes, it'll be done and then I'll just let it set to the side. So um, I use this organic Thai jasmine rice. I just really like the flavor and um, each serving is 40 grams of carbs, but I try to stay around 30 grams of carbs. So when I make three servings, I'm actually doing that in four meal prep containers. So I'm going to do six servings of rice and then, um, or actually I'll do five servings of rice so that instead of it being at 40 grams per meal prep container, it'll be about 30 or 25. So I'm gonna get this ready. So a lot of people get confused with rice and measuring, but if you look here, it's one fourth cup or 50, ah, 50 grams dry. So it'll say it makes three fourth cup prepared. I prefer to look at my fitness pal and do ounces when I weigh because your rice is going to absorb water. So what I'll do is I'll measure it on the scale at the 50 grams dry. So since I'm going to be doing five, I'm going to do 250 grams total of rice and then do the appropriate water intake. Then when I weigh it for the containers, I'll weigh it in ounces and it's equivalent to what I'm looking for per serving. I'm one gram off, but I don't want to add the extra rice. So. I'm gonna do this in the bowl. You're supposed to like rinse the rice before so it's a little less sticky, but honestly, I just keep it simple, whatever. So now I'm going to add this, uh, or fill this up with two and a quarter cups of water, throw that in there and then start heating it up to boil. All right, so the tilapia is seasoned and the pans are already being heated up with my um, zero calorie nonstick avocado oil. So I'm gonna stick these in here. I think it's kind of too soon, but I'm just gonna get them started and I'm just gonna place four in each one. And I'll flip over about every minute to a minute and a half, about two, three times. And then I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice on it just to like let it soak in once they start flaking apart just a little bit. And the rice is about to um, be ready so I can cover it and get that simmering. Okay, so I have my broccoli in a bowl. Um, I used about one package of just baby broccoli. It's frozen, it's just quick and easy, and that way I can just pull it out when I want to meal prep versus it going bad, it's like super fresh. So frozen broccoli is better. Don't ever use like cans of vegetables because they're high in sodium, and just think of all the preservatives that they're adding in there to keep it somewhat fresh. And there's like no nutrients in it. So use either frozen or fresh. Um, but I'm gonna heat this up that's how I get my veggies, just quick and easy. There's five servings, but I don't like to eat. I just cannot eat like that much broccoli at once for a serving, so I kind of split up in like a half serving. So I'm gonna heat this up for about four minutes, and my rice is still going, and my tilapia is done. It's starting to flake, so I'm going to start putting this in the meal prep containers and get that going. <laughs> done I'm going to now grab one container at a time and weigh it I'm going to do three ounces of rice per container typically um, if I run out of rice before I finish the meal prep then I'll use the sweet potatoes to finish out the meals 
but sometimes if I have like a lot of extra rice, I'll do three and a half ounces. So then I'll go back through and like add half an ounce to each container. But for the most part, based off of how much I weighed, if I did it right, um, it should be about three ounces perfect for each container. So I'm gonna weigh this out and the broccoli just got done. All my containers are done. I was able to do enough rice for everything except one container and I ran out of broccoli. So I'll add sweet potatoes to this one and change it up. But I did, um, for the broccoli, I did vegetable seasoning and then a little bit of salt and pepper. That way I get my sodium in for these meals. Um, I used Himalayan sea salt. And then for the rice, it ended up weighing perfectly out for all these meals to have three and a half ounces. So what I do is I typically pre-log this in my phone on my fitness pal. And then I'll just copy the date every day for the, the next seven days because that meal will be different on the end over there. So all these meals are done. I'm gonna let them cool down. And now it's time to do the ground turkey. So the sweet potatoes still have about 22 minutes and I'm going to let that finish. So by the time I do the ground turkey, they will get done around the same time. And then I'll keep the potatoes in here a little longer, but take the oven off. Meal is done. Um, I just actually had a little snack because I was starving, especially like smelling all this food. So the sweet potatoes have about eight minutes left. And then I'm going to do the turkey breast. So I'm heating up the pan right now. I have no idea what seasoning I'm going to use. I have like so many different ones in here. I like my little turntable. Um, I don't go away there. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do like, like adobo or like cayenne. I might just like add a bunch of random seasonings and just see what flavor that I end up with. Part of my meal prep is done. This took a little bit, but I know it's not like the most appealing colors because it's like all just like plain looking, but I seasoned the crap out of my turkey and this is two pounds roughly. And then as you can see, the potato skin is like peeling apart. So that's just from adding the extra time in the oven, letting it um, steam and just bake a little longer, whatever. So um, I'm gonna let these cool down a little bit. I'm going to separate the turkey into the containers. So I have planned four ounces of both and that should be perfect for about five, maybe six containers. So we will see how it divides up. Turkey is split up in one, two, three, four, five, six containers. Can I count? Yeah, six containers. And I'm hoping that the potatoes will last long because I need to make sure that four ounces can go into each container. Plus I have that one tilapia meal. So if not, we'll figure it out. I might just have that extra food for my husband. He can bring those meal preps to work. But I opened these all up and as you can tell, the skin really like pulls away from the um, potato. So I'm letting it cool down a little bit and I'm gonna start weighing it out. Potatoes are perfect. I got four ounces in everything and then I even was able to add about like a little over three ounces in the tilapia one. So this will kind of be like a snack, but it's still a meal. So um, I'm gonna let this cool down and all my meals are done. So what I like to do for my meal prep, I hear a lot of people say that they don't like to make too many meals because they don't know how long it's gonna last in the fridge. And I used to be the same way, but then I had to just get over it, honestly. Um, so, you know, I like to stay very transparent, but for real, just get over it. Um, add half of your meals in the freezer and then just keep about three days worth of meals in the fridge. And when you reheat your meals, whether it's in the fridge or the freezer, just add like a little splash of water on the meat. And then when you put in the microwave, leave the lid on, but just like angle it so that it can still ventilate in there, but it's still covered. And it heats the food up perfect. And what I like to do also is like I'll heat up the food for like about a minute to a minute, 20 seconds. And then I'll like mix up the rice or the potatoes, kind of cut open the um, like the tilapia or whatever meat I have, just like mix it around. And then I heat it up again for like 20 to 30 seconds, depending on like your microwave and all that stuff. But that helps just kind of have that consistent heat and like you don't have those weird cold spots. So just add a little bit of water and it brings moisture back in the meat and it makes it taste like you just made it that same day. So that's my little trick. Um, it doesn't matter if it's in the freezer or not, it can taste just as fresh. And I've had meals that were like eight days later from the freezer and it just, they taste fine. So um, I'm not sure how that meal, bleh. I don't know how the meals are if you put it in the fridge for a few days and then put it in the freezer. I just let the food cool down and then I put half those meals straight to the freezer. I feel like it's a little fresher that way. 
So that's just a tip that I would say, but um, that's pretty much how I do my meal prep. I think it's been like, I don't know, it's been an hour and a half because when I did the potatoes, um, I actually did 20 minutes after I took the oven off after that hour. So it was an hour and 20 minutes and I took them out a little earlier. So I just did all this meal prep under an hour and a half. And now the hard part, or not, not the hard part, but the not as fun part is cleaning the kitchen. So I'm gonna clean up all those dishes back there and then I wanted to let you guys know something that I did the other night that I should not have and it's something that I've never experienced with a diet and having food issues. So I decided to make a part two of this video because I know I personally don't like watching really long lengthy videos and this video is about 16 minutes and I want to make this just strictly the meal prep version of what I do. So if you want to watch what I did the other night and how prep is going, then stay tuned for the next video. It will be posted either the next day or the following Monday. So stay tuned. Thank you and I will see you soon. Bye.